Today I'm going to talk about the great unwatched movies in your collection that you've picked up because, well, because they're supposedly great, but somehow, for some reason, there's something holding you back from actually checking them out. I got one the other uh, week, Spartacus, which I, I'm sure I've maybe seen a while ago, long, long time ago, so long uh, that I've actually forgotten a lot about it. And I picked it up because, well, Spartacus, I wanted to revisit it. And I got it and instantly thought, when am I going to watch this again? This is a long movie, it's a great movie, when will I watch it? There was a time where I would pick up movies solely because of their reputation. Wow, have you seen A? A is amazing, it won so many Oscars, it's a movie that should be in everybody's collection. Suddenly I'm thinking, well, you know, I have a collection and A is not in my collection. Maybe, maybe I should buy it, uh, if it's supposed to be there. And <laughs> you just never get around to watching it. I think sometimes reputations of movies can be so overpowering that you sometimes jump on the bandwagon. It may not be something you're really interested in, but you pick it up because of that prestige level. It just makes you wonder a little bit why. Why do we, why are we so attracted to these amazing movies? Because these amazing movies may not be in our wheelhouse. You know, I kind of like exploitation cinema horror cinema, kind of pulpy stuff? Do I really want a classic masterpiece that is supposed to be amazing in my collection? Is it something I'm actually going to use or get to? It's the old um, strange adage, you know, it's, it's these kind of big movies that are universally heralded as being masterpieces and yet for some reason sometimes you just can't bring yourself to watch them. There's probably quite a few in my collection that I've solely picked up because of uh, lists that I've seen it could be the Sight and Sound Top 100 movies and it's been close to the top and it's a, a movie that I'd never considered getting before. But suddenly the prestige of being on that list has made me go, yes, I want to pick it up. It's something I thought I was getting better at until I picked up the 4K of Spartacus. But I'm going to make sure I watch that soon and cross it off my watch pile. But it just made me wonder about the rest of my collection. The great movies, the amazing movies, the uh, quote-unquote unmissable. Have to have them in your collection movies. Do they really have to have them? Are we following um, a little bit of elitism by believing that we should have them in our collections? Our collections are us they should be reflective of us and what we like and our tastes and having these movies in there just because really kind of devalues our collection more than adds to it. It's the kind of movie that people will pick out because they know, oh wow, I, I've heard of The Ten Commandments, I've seen it, that's a classic movie. But does it really fit in next to, I don't know, The, the Lost Boys and Monster Squad? It kind of sticks out a sore thumb when you look at it that way. The Great Unwatched is something that I have started to move away from. I felt like I did until Spartacus. It's just one of those things where I feel like I only want the movies in my collection that I really want to watch. And, and there was a time where I wanted everything. I wanted all the movies in the world. All of them. I wanted a, a ridiculously sized uh, library of films. You know the kind of things where you watch those old movies and people have got those libraries with the ladders that go up and move around the walls. I always wanted a, a movie room like that. That's just not feasible. That's not something that's actually going to happen. That's not something that's even realistic. And do I want every movie? Well, no. As I get older, I realise my tastes have changed and I just want the movies that I want in my collection. So what if Sight and Sound say that a film B is, is one that everyone should have in their collection. Should it? Really? Do these things, are they just kind of clickbait, uh, waiting to see if we're going to jump on uh, the bandwagon and have these films in their collection? I understand that there are great movies out there. 
masterpiece movies but even if something is great even if it won so many Oscars if it is a masterpiece if it is a movie that everyone should have in their collection we don't really we don't really need to fall for that we need to make sure our collections are definitive of us and the movies that we love I quite happily have uh, The Lost Boys and The Monster Squad and can miss out on uh, whatever other one I mentioned <laughs> because that's that's the out of those three movies the two genre specific ones are the ones that have stuck in my mind I'd love to know what you think of uh, The Great Unwatched I'd love to know what titles you picked up because of the hubbub titles that you may not have got around to watch uh, ones that you bought because they were breakaway masterpieces Oscar winners highly valued in the film critical community those kind of movies ones that are there because they're familiar and they should be apparently but ones that you've never watched drop those titles so I know that I'm not the only one that picks up these things and I'll see if I can find some in my collection and maybe drop it down in the chat as well thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Man V Film <laughs>